Welcome to the week. It's like 85 with 60% humidity and you would think that I can handle that for mowing, but I'm dying out here, so maybe sometime this upcoming week I'll do the mowing. Um, it was just thundering pretty loud. There was a black cloud over my house for like half an hour there. I don't know. It was supposed to rain, then it wasn't supposed to rain. I don't know if you can hear that, it's still kind of thundering. So most of the mints are going to bloom. I just watered these with some leftover water from the nepenthes and orchids and stuff. Some of the neps are looking really bad, like different neps from the ones that have looked like they were dying. Not even the Trismatiensis cross. Actually, the Bostiana by Campanulata looks really bad. The leaves are kind of, you know how the leaves are like this? The outside edges are curled under. So I don't know what's going on. Um, here's my peppers. Those two new peppers it set. This one's turning purple. The other one's still growing, hopefully. Uh, I have some kind of lily blooming. And actually over there, there was a turtle trying to cross the street this morning on my way out to go check out one of the stores. So. I kind of parked here and then waved at people frantically in traffic hoping that they would stop and picked it up and I hear you're always supposed to um, move them across the road in the direction that they were headed so I moved it across the road because it was right in the middle of the road and the church traffic was picking up so um, my experiment here, my craft project is I got one of these signs that you can get at Home Depot that comes with like the little metal thing, right? That you're supposed to put it on, like for sale or garage sale or something. On the bottom, it's that ugly white color. So <laughs> I painted it the same color as the um, trim of my house. And then I got some wooden stakes instead of the flimsy uh, metal thing. So I'm gonna screw those on along the edges with some washers and screws and then I'm gonna put the tape over what I want to keep as white and then use the same kind of robin's egg blue as my house so paint over everything including that tape with the robin's egg blue so that when I peel off the uh, paint it'll be like a turtle and caution turtle crossing in white underneath so I'm going to put it over there in that little um, shade garden that I made this year with the mulch, with that native gooseberry. So I just put the first coat on about an hour ago, so this can says that I need to wait another three hours till I can do a recoat. So I think at that point I'm going to screw those stakes to this and then give the whole entire thing, uh, um, maybe the whole entire thing, another coat of this white, both on this side and then do the first coat on the other side. Uh, I don't know if I should bother with two coats for just a sign. <laughs> There's like do it the proper way, right? But then this is kind of garbagey plastic, so I mean, maybe I should have gotten a wood sign. Maybe that's step two. Um, but step one is put at least one coat on and see how it turns out. And then I looked online. It would have cost less had I just bought a pre-made metal sign instead of trying to do it myself but oh well i wanted an art project anyway so i just watered the plants um fed my sourdough i gotta still do a little bit of housework i'm definitely not gonna get to the mowing because i'm dying of this heat i think it's because i went um i need to go to that work conference in about a week and a half so i went and got um covid and flu shots uh last monday so a week ago tomorrow um so i'd be prepared for that because people are flying in from all over um but i had that ear infection at the same time so i think it was just way too too much oh 
Um, I picked all the pears in my garden there. They were kind of squishy on one side, so I guess those weevils, that curculio beetle, which is a weevil, kind of got into them. But then I noticed when I was cutting down the teasels more behind my fence. So first of all, the mowers for that HOA were mowing under my fence again, which I'm not very happy about. I don't know. Maybe I need to find a lawyer to write them an unhappy letter. <laughs> uh, and then the second thing is I actually had jujubes on my trees. So I had a couple of jujubes set. So I guess those flowers are flowers for fruit. And um, I got some fruit this year, which is exciting. So I think this vine here is wild grape and not porcelain berry. We'll see. Like, I think the one on the side of my shed is grape and not porcelain berry. And I think the one over here is wild grape and not porcelain berry, but they haven't bloomed, so I don't know. Um, I'll rip them out if they're porcelain berry, but if they're wild grape, that's pretty exciting because those uh, hummingbird, hummingbird moth, hummingbird hawk moth, whatever they're called, um, wild grape is the host plant for those, and I really enjoy seeing them. Um, even just standing out here and talking is exhausting, so that might be it for this week, and hopefully next week I'll have my turtle sign here um, up just through that bush there. And then maybe I will have taken down the ugly stakes and twine over there instead if I'll have a nice sign up. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, that's it for this week. Till next week.